Hello everybody, this is Schwan again, and this is the next video in our series of for TragicServers.com of how to better manage your server. So today's gonna be a real short video, and we're gonna talk about how to install source mod through the server control panel. So let's dive right in. If you go to TragicServers.com and you are logged in, as you can see on the right hand side, you can click on server CP. Once you do that, you see a screen that looks like this. You'll see your account and you'll see your server IP. In which we've gone over, we've gone over the screen um, in videos in the past. So if you have any questions about the control panel, consult those videos. But today we are talking about the auto installers panel. So once we go here, we can do just like some config stuff, whatever. But today we're talking about source mod. So source mod is a requirement for um, SOAP DM, for MGE, and a lot of other plugins that make playing our competitive server a lot better. For instance, like the ability to automatically record demos but have them cut down to only when the team is ready up instead of like really long demos and stuff like that so like there's a lot of cool features that you can use source mod for or source mod plugins for and they all require source mod so that's what we're going to do here now if you will see there's two listings for source mod there's 1.4 and 1.5 1.4 is the stable branch and 1.5 is the um the development branch so i'm just going to go ahead and recommend that everyone do the stable branch okay and if you'll see here, we want to make sure both these things are checked. We want to attempt, we want to make sure that um, we're just doing an overwrite. Uh, if this is your first time installing source mod on the server in general, um, you might want to untick this. But if you already have source mod on there, and like you don't want to lose like all the plugins you've had in the past, then make sure you keep that checked. And we'll keep the other one checked as well. And there's one thing I forgot we got to do. If we go to the server control, we need to make sure that our server is stopped. So we can press stop the server from the drop down menu. Press do it. And now our server is being stopped. We'll refresh this page. Whoops. We will refresh this page. I did a little misclick there. Sorry about that. It's being stopped. Good. So we'll go back to the auto installers. And now we can use these auto installers. So if you notice this box right here, it says enter your Steam ID. Uh, the reason to do this is for source mod admin. And if you're an admin in source mod, that means you can type like slash admin in the TF2 chat of your server and a GUI will pop up and you can visually like change the math or exec a config instead of typing in archon, exec, sevo, whatever, right? You can do it visually, which some people prefer, but a lot of people don't need, don't need it, but the feature's there. And I'm just going to lay it out right here, a good way to find out um, what your Steam ID is, is you can go to Steam ID Finder. So let's go ahead and do that. Steam ID Finder. Cool, cool. Alright, so if you go to Steam ID Finder and you follow these instructions, for instance, let's say you open up Steam and you go to your Community tab. Okay. Oh, this looks different. I forgot about this. And you go to Profile, probably. Yeah, Profile. And if you right-click here and say Copy Page URL. Alright. Minimize that, and if we put it right there, press search, and that's our Steam ID. So if we hover over it, it selects it. And once we hover over it, Control C, let's bring it back to our control panel, and Control V it in there. So perfect. So now that Steam ID will, ha will have admin access to source mod when this installs. So the next step, and the last one, is now that you have your server stopped and your Steam ID is in, both those things are checked. You press this button to reinstall source mod 1.4 and you're done. Uh, stay tuned for a more in-depth tutorial of how to install like so how to install soap mod and MGE and match recorder and stuff like that. That's the next video coming up, coming up in the series. I'm Schwan and I'm out.